Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about uh, why fixed index annuities are riskier without the Fidicacia rule. The Fidicacia rule is gone and fixed index annuity sales are up. Sales of complex annuity products have soared, possibly because a federal regulation designed to protect consumers from unscrupulous sales practice was scrapped in June 2018. Fixed indexed annuities or FIAS, also called equity indexed annuities of AIS, are designed to protect retirees from losing money, but allow them to earn interests when the stock market does well. They can do this because they aren't investments. FIAS are actually contrasts that you can buy from an insurance company. The federal regulations that would have protected consumers from buying the product if it wasn't right to them was the Department of Labor's fiduciary rule. A fiduciary is someone who is required to act in another person's best financial interests. If the fiduciary rule applied in the case of fears, the annuity of sale person would have had to act in say your mom's uh, best interests when inviting her to a free steak dinner uh, where she could learn about this annuities and how they could help her in retirement. Without the rules, the annuity sales person can act in his or, or her own best interests and sell your mom a fixed income annuity just to earn a commission and a vacation. The fee just has to be suitable for your mom. It only has to make sense given her financial circumstances and risk tolerance even though it may not be the best investment for her particular situation. Uh, correlation we see versus causation. It's not seriously difficult to untangle correlation and causation, but there is here is what we do what we know about the relationship between the fiduciary rule and fixed indexed annuity sales volume. Sales of fixed indexed annuities peaked in the fourth quarter of 2015 with 16.1 billion sold, according to an Insured Retirement Institute press release uh, using data from Bacon Research. The fiduciary rule was issued early in the second quarter of 2016. After a slow first quarter, FIA sales were again 16.1 billion from April through June of 2016. After the fiduciary rule was issued, insurers and brokers were uncertain about when and whether the rule would actually be implemented. The uncertainty was ex Exacerbated, exacerbated by the change in pres presidential administrations from 2016 to 2017, but the industry still started making changes to accommodate the rule. The fiduciary rule was unlimitedly killed on June 21, 2018. Fixed indexed annuity sales in billions. Uh, in in 2015, it was 16.1. Uh, in 2016 quarter of first it was 15.6 and due to 19.6 uh, in 2018. In late October the Wall Street Journal published an article not noting that fear sales were setting records likely due to the fiduciary rules demise. In the second quarter of 2018 fear sales totalated 15.7 billion, a 23% increase over the same time in 2017, and a 21% increase over the first quarter of 2018. While other factors such as interests or interest rates may have also impacted sales, the numbers support the theory as posted in the journal. Indeed, it's more than a theory. The industry itself. Apparent, apparently believed the fiduciary rule hurt its sales. A 2K statement from ERI press release indicate. In a press release covering the 3Q 2017 results, the ERI started an uncertain regulatory environment continued to disrupt annuity 
sales in the third quarter. The ambiguity introduced into the marketplace by the partial implementation of the dulled fiduciary rule has interrupted consumers. Access to financial products that are critical to a financially secure retirement. Then, in its for, uh, first quarter 2017 report published April 17, 2018, the IRL stated, with the Dolph fiduciary rule now vacated by the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, we expect sales to continue building on the on these increases in 2018 as transaction friction abates the effect of interest rates on annuity sales. Interest rates may have also played a role in this recent spike in annuity sales. Rates started rising shortly before the fiduciary rule was issued. When interest rates go up, insurance companies can pay consumers more interest on annuities. Rising interest rates can improve the terms offered within the annuity contracts, helping to support a high quarantine distribution rate or access to more upside potential form. A fixed indexed annuity, said Wade uh, Deepfowl, professor of retirement income at the America College of Financial Services. Uh, as well, market vol volatility and recession First, can help to promote people into using annuities as a uh, form of protection. As Pfau alludes, uh, the stock market took investors on a ride in the first half of 2018, which could have also influenced annuity sales. But at the, as the table above shows, the relationship between increasing interest uh, rates and increasing fixed indexed annuity sales is weak. Uh, risks of fi fixed indexed annuities. The dollar's fiduciary rule could have been good for consumers considering the purchase of a fixed indexed annuity. The rule would have required annuity salespeople to disclose to the consumer the com co commission they were earning from selling and fear and only recommended and fear if it was consumer best interest. Uh, okay, so fears may not be in my consumer's best interest for several reasons. First reason is high surrender charges. To purchase an annuity which is contrast with an insurance company, you give an insurance company a bunch of money. If you want that money back anytime during the first 5 to 10 years of the contract, you will typically have to pay a fee called a surrender charge. That Fee may be 10% in the first year and it may decline by 1% per year thereafter. Uh, okay, the second reason is complex terms. How do I earn interest on my annuity? How does the insurance company decide how much interest I earn? Can they use a different method this year than they did last year? What's the most I can earn? Are there fees that take away from my earnings while this Answers should all be spelled out of the marking materials, most importantly, the annuity contract. The terms may not be easy for the typical consumer to understand, and relying on the person selling each to you for answers is risky uh, when uh, that person doesn't have to put your interest first. The third reason is possibility of losing money. As discussed above, you can lose money from surrender charges if you take your money out early. The insurance company has to make up for its sales people commissions somehow and while you can lose money with it and fear because of poor stock market performance, a widely touted benefit of fear is you can lose money because if the stock market has low, flat or negative returns for enough years, you won't come out ahead. Fixed income annuities have what's called a guaranteed minimum return. And these days, it's usually at least 87.5% uh, of the premium paid at 1-3% to interest. Okay guys, it's all for now. Uh, see my, our next part in the next videos. Bye!